Good evening. Uh, I was just teaching my guest a few things backstage. Any number of countries would be happy to, uh, to, to trade their gross national product for the paycheck that my, my guest tonight picked up for a single night's work uh, not too long ago. My guest is the great boxer Sugar Ray Leonard, and the paycheck was $10 million, or for all he had to do was defend his welterweight title against Roberto Duran. Um, <clears throat> as you may know, it was a pretty rough night's work. I've never seen a fight like that, uh, in which Sugar Ray lost the bout and the title, but there are some things he didn't lose, and one of his reputation for being one of history's most stylish boxers uh, in the ring, and for also being a, a clean-cut fulfillment of the American dream outside the ring. He's, he's a gentleman, a good citizen of sport, and <clears throat> we thought it'd be interesting to uh, have him come on the show, tell us where all that and $10 million leaves him. So if you'll welcome, please, the wonderful Sugar Ray Leonard. Thank you. I was, uh, I was giving my guest a, just a little lesson in tap dancing backstage, and it's, uh, he, he realizes the value of studying with a master. And what, uh, what, what possessed you to take up tap dancing? Well, it was something I always wanted to do, Dick. I think I everybody could always wanted. Yeah, anyone? Anyway, I never could afford couldn't to afford take. It tap dance lessons. Yeah. But um, if, I, if I figure if I can take it from you, I can be pretty pretty good. Yes, I'm, I'm in the succession that begins with Fred Astaire and comes yeah. down through various other parts of Nebraska to me. Fred Astaire's from Nebraska, you know. Yeah. yeah a lot of graceful people are. That, that may be the best fight I've ever seen in some ways, the uh, Duran fight. Uh, ha you've seen it, of course. I was there. Well... <laughs> Uh, I know. I know. Yeah. But have you looked it over? I have. Uh, I've viewed the fight, and uh, I've reached the conclusion that I won the fight. You know, if, I, so? if I was a judge, I would have won that fight. I wonder if you could get a judge to agree with you, because uh, sometimes they'll admit that uh, getting a different yeah. view of it, they'll... Yeah. But they never see me fight inside. They always used to be dancing and moving and running mm -hmm. and hitting and trying not to get hit and clowning what they call. Uh, but this time I said, I'm gonna fight Duran, fight him straight up, beam at his own game, which was kind of crazy anyway. But I stood there and he hit me so hard. I thought about what my mother told me. He said, Ray, don't ever be a boxer. And I thought about that. Yeah. But I was so determined to win because I didn't want to lose the title. I lost it, but I kind of like want to get it back. Well, how can I help you? <laughs> you keep uh, well, show me some more movements and I can uh, <laughs> yeah, but use more footwork. Okay. Yeah, I, the, the announcer kept saying, I can't believe it. He's just standing there. Wait, he's he's fi fighting Durant in his own style. Uh, why isn't he using his style? They kept saying, I don't, he must have said 15 times, I don't believe that he's standing there flat-footed uh, instead of dancing. Yeah. Um, now, I still don't know. Is this a decision that Angelo Dundee made or that you made or that you made on the instant or... Can we ever no. clear this up? It was a decision that I, a strategy, a plan that I set out to do. Yeah. Because I just wanted to beat Duran a certain way. See, in defeating a man at his own game, mm -hmm. it's, you, it's much more credibility. You see? You, get, you, get, you mean you get more points for beating yeah, at his well, own game? Yeah, well, in a sense. I mean, as far as the press and the media is concerned, <laughs> yeah. they say, wow, I mean, look what he did. But see, if I just beat Duran by just dancing and moving, they say, Sugar Ray Leonard beat Roberto Duran, an old, ancient fighter. Guy didn't train properly. Guy that had sickness. He has, something about his heart was, he had a heart murmur or something, mm -hmm. and uh, his, he pulled his back out of socket. Uh, he knocked a horse out one day. He knocked a horse he out? knocked a horse out. Intentionally? I don't know. <laughs> but you don't go Just around. by looking at it? No, he sucked him. I yeah. mean, but you don't go around punching all animals, do you? I know you don't. I haven't punched an animal in months. I, <laughs> I heard of an incident like that. Was he the one who knocked, who, who hit a horse between the eyes and, yeah. the, and dropped it? And dropped him cold. Well, that'll certainly that win him a lot of thing? fans among the animals. <laughs> You're not trying to start an argument between not, the two of you, are you? Not really. We're buddies. We were, were buddies. We were friends, as a matter of fact. And we talk to each other, especially in Las Vegas. He say, "Hey, how you doing, Sugar?" I say, "Amigo, my amigo." And the minute we sign a contract, I'm gonna kill you. Uh huh. Yeah. So who uh, started it, though? That's the thing. Well, Duran did. I would say Duran, but I kind of yeah. like uh, 
I aggravated him, you know. I um, I blew a kiss at him. I guess that's that would right. make the average guy mad. I don't know. Now I want to know something. Did the word maricon come into play? I at didn't all? say that. I didn't say that. Oh. I don't know what happened. The who went? I don't even what know what it, that means. What is, I, was ask I assume you. it's uh, Spanish it for mean? macaroni, isn't it? Or? He called me a clown. Now, that was in English. Uh huh. <laughs> no doubt about that. But uh, I don't know. Mighty clown. What does it mean? What What does it mean? Hands? Huh? Faggot. Glad oh, I Family? Asked. It means family. Uh, family. Uh, apparently, it, it, it means uh, homosexual. No. Uh, of a certain type. Yeah. Um, now, you wouldn't knowingly have no. called a man now, you know me that, that you knew would be inflamed by it the yes. way he would. Yes, because at the press conference here in New York, before the fight, I said, Duran, I will kill you. And they say, hey, that's not Sugar Ray's character. That's not his style. I said, kill, K-E-E-L. You will kill him over. Kill him over. Oh, you see, they got it I see. They jumped the gun. Mm-hmm. And when but, you said, I'll put him in his grave, you meant in his groove. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <Sure. laughs>